Hey MB crew, so we're going to go ahead and get started. As you guys can see, I'm just spraying down my hair with some water. I am doing this style on old, old hair. So I'm just taking my wide tooth comb and making sure there's no tangles or anything in my head before we go ahead and smooth it up. Alright, so I like to add some oil onto my hair before applying gel just to coat it and add moisture. So I'm going to be using the Style Factor Edge Booster Gel on my hair today. I really, really love this gel because when I use any other gel, I always have to put free spray or spritz on top. With this gel, I do not have to do that. So as you guys can see, I'm just smoothing up the back with my hand and I am adding a little bit more water just to help with getting my hair up high because we are doing a high braid. As you guys know, this style is is inspired by Kelly Rowland this is an inspired video guys okay so it will not look exactly the same but this is just my spin and twist on the hairstyle when I saw it on her I thought it was just so beautiful so I went ahead and I brushed down my edges out the way because I didn't want to slick them down with this gel and so I'm just gathering my hair together to put into a ponytail Once my hair is in a ponytail, I'm going to go ahead and use my hands to smooth it up. I'm going to apply a little bit more gel to my hands. And I'm just applying the gel around the base of the ponytail because that's where my hair likes to fall down at because it is short. So yeah, this just helps with keeping everything up and in place. I did apply my scarf and I slept like this overnight. Now you can proceed to go ahead and apply your braid if you would like. But I did sleep overnight to let my hair mold. Alright, so this is the hair that I will be using. I'll link it in the description box below. I had two bundles left, so what I did was I used one full bundle, and then I took a little bit out of the second bundle that I had just to make sure my braid is full. I noticed that Kelly Rowland's braid was really full. Well, hers looked more like a twist, but we're doing a braid, so yeah. <laughs> And I'm just going to lay my hair tie across the base and then pull it through. And then we're going to go ahead and create our braid. I like to go ahead and detangle my hair. Y'all see my dog Caviar, he wanted his blanket. I was in his way. <laughs> so I went ahead and sprayed the hair down with freeze spray. This is going to help with the hair having a lot of flyaways and with the hair frizzing out and tangling. You want to make sure that you do start at the very base of the hair and you want to make sure that the portions are pretty pretty even okay so make try to make sure they're as even as possible and I'm talking about your three strands that you're going to be braiding with and you don't want to braid the braid super tight you kind of want it to be loose because you guys will see why later but just don't braid it super tight make sure as you're braiding you're checking the side on the bottom as well because sometimes you might miss a strand and it'll be sticking out and I did that a few times so I had to go back and re-braid it so just make sure as you're braiding you are looking at the back side of the braid because both sides of the braid will be visible And we're going to go ahead and use a clip at the end of the braid and we'll finish it off later because once you put it on you might want the braid to be a little longer depending on how tall you are. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down my edges. Now this is definitely optional. I like to start off with equal solid gel so that I can move them in a the direction I want them to go. And then I apply the edge booster, pomade, edge control, whatever you would like to call it on top. And I let those sit while I time back up and I do my makeup. So I am spraying some oil sheen on my hair because gel can make your hair look really dull. I'm adding some Marley hair, a few little strands that I cut in half to the base of my ponytail because Kelly Rowland's braid kind of set up really high off of her head at the top. And my real ponytail is a little bit too short. So yeah, I just wanted to make it a little bit larger. So I'm applying the braid with the hair tie, as you guys can see, on one side of my head and then I flip it over. So whatever side of your head you want your braid to be on, put it on the opposite side. And then I'm just fluffing out the braid at the tip, at the top where the bun is to cover the bun. You do not want the bun to be visible. So make sure you spread out the hair and do not be afraid to spread it out. And then I'm just gonna pin the base, the top, into place and you can use however many pins you would like whatever makes you comfortable so yeah I'm just pinning the top into place and once I get it all situated 
I'm gonna go ahead and like fluff out the braid with my hands just making it a little bit more fuller you can fluff it out even more than what I did but this is just how I want mine to be so I'm just gonna go back to the bottom and kind of braid it down a little bit further I put a rubber band at the base and then I'm just cutting the end down in the flyaways and this is the final look guys so I really really like how it turned out as you guys can see Kelly Rollins is fluffed out at the bottom too. Super, super cute. I love this style so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all on my next one. Bye!